Hi, and welcome to uh, Mrs. Mills Science Time. And uh, I invite you to check out my website, which is STEM and STEAM Teaching and Learning Journey. So um, I this is the first time I've um, tried uploading some of my science lessons. So I hope you enjoy it uh, for teachers and for students who would like to learn some fun science. Um, this might be a good spot for you. So uh, today's lesson is we're going to focus on um, states of matter. We're going to talk a little bit today about having some fun with solids and liquids. So first off, I would like you to uh, take a moment and just think about how solids, um, what the differences between solids and liquids are. So first off, think about what a solid is and maybe put an example of a solid in your head or just talk about it. Um, and uh, and think about what makes a solid a solid. Okay, so let's uh, talk about solids. So uh, if you have an example of a solid, um, maybe it's something like this pipe cleaner. So um, how we know solids are solids is we think about solids having particles, tiny, tiny atoms and molecules that are really, 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 really small, and they're packed really, really closely together. So for solids, they are really hard to separate those particles, okay? Like a pipe cleaner, really hard to tear apart. You'd have to cut it to get it to go apart. So solids tend to have their particles very attracted to each other and they are packed tightly, tightly, tightly together. Um, and they keep their shape. So this, this pipe cleaner, as you can see, I can bend it, but it's still a pipe cleaner, okay? It still keeps its shape. Okay, so let's just think about solids that way for a moment as being um, uh, the particles are packed closely, particles are tightly packed together, and they hold their shape. Okay, again with science there's lots of other ways you can think about solids, but we'll just stick with that definition for now. Okay. Now, is a Kleenex a solid? Think about that. It, it, does it keep its shape? Well, what if I scrunch it all up into a ball? Is it still keeping its shape? What if I tear it apart? Is it still keeping its shape? Is a Kleenex a solid? Well, it is. Hey, if you want to take a moment and think about it, it is still solid because even though uh, solids um, hold their shape, technically, they're still holding their shape because they're, they're just in smaller pieces, but the pieces are still being really held tightly together. Um, even though we can tear them um, into smaller pieces, uh, particle or solids can be in small pieces, such as um, we get cornstarch um, or flour, or salt or sugar, um, all of those um, can still can still hold together, even and and they are still solids, right? Like for example, the cornstarch I was just mentioning, um, it is a very 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 fine powder, but it is still a solid, okay? Even though um, it's small, so. Let's take a moment and think about a liquid now. How is a liquid different from a solid and what makes a liquid special? Okay, so take a moment and, and think about that and I encourage you to pause the video for a moment and think about that. Okay, so let's think about liquids now. So I've got an example of a liquid right here. It's um, just some water, some soap to make it bubbly and some red uh, food coloring. So it's a liquid. How is it different than the pipe cleaner or the or the Kleenex? Great. So you think about liquids. Liquids can flow. They're a fluid, which we'll get into more in other videos because it's really fun to examine. Um, the particles are held fairly tightly together, but they can actually slide past each other in a liquid. So a liquid is different because those particles even though they have attraction, they can still, they can slide past each other. 
And the other thing that's, that people use to define a liquid is they say that liquids take the shape of their container. Okay, so in this case, this is in a, uh, a spherical um, shape right now. This liquid, it's in a, a special kind of flask. I'm going to pour it into this beaker, which is a cylindrical shape. And if you take a look at it now, it's the same liquid. It's the same liquid, but its shape has now changed. And that is because um, liquids um, don't really keep their own shape. If I were to pour this liquid on the table, it's going to run all over the table and go down on the floor. It doesn't, it, the particles are not attracted strongly enough to hold its shape. Okay, so um, let's take this, let's talk about that for a second up here. So liquids, um, the particles slide past each other. Particles can slide. They are still attracted, but they can slide past each other. Now, the cool thing is kind of those, there's special things out there. They're a little bit like a solid and a little bit like a liquid. So today we're going to make something called oobleck, which is a really fun thing to make. And uh, some people call it magic mud. And it acts like a solid sometimes and it acts like a liquid sometimes it takes properties of both so in some situations the particles will act like a solid and they'll hold their shape and in some situations the particles will slide past each other and act like a liquid so very fun you could find all kinds of recipes for oobleck online um, i just what i do is i tend to use the the rule of um one part water and two parts, um, roughly one and a half to two parts cornstarch. Okay, so um, I'm going to take, I tend to use recyclables in my science class for, um, for containers. So I've got my uh, plastic spoon here. I'm going to take two teaspoons, or sorry, I think it's tablespoons, yes. Two tablespoons or two times 15 milliliters, so approximately 30 milliliters of uh, cornstarch. I'm gonna put it into this um, beaker. And now I'm going to add one part or 15 milliliters of water. So again, the ratio is roughly two parts cornstarch to one part water. And um, kids in my class always like to add a little bit of food coloring to make it look fun. Um, again, um, students and teachers, just a warning about food coloring is it will stain your clothing if you get it on there. So you have to be careful with food coloring. Of course, this is messy just in general. So you're going to want to make sure kids, if you're doing this at home, you have parents' permission and also... Um, teachers can get a little messy. Um, and again, the recycling, the recycled containers are really helpful in a science classroom because um, everything costs a lot of money. So right now, the oobleck isn't really oobleking yet. <laughs> it's, um, it's still pretty liquidy, but you can see it's kind of starting to act a little funny. It's, it's, it's starting to thicken up. So I feel like maybe I'm going to add just a little bit more. The, the kids in my class are always like, Mrs. Bells, it's not working. <laughs> Help me. Add more. And you just have to kind of add it in small amounts. If you're noticing that's not doing what you want it to do. Ooh, there we go. Um, if it's not doing what you want it to do, just add a little more cornstarch if it's too runny. And add a little more water if it's too much of a solid. You'll hit that lovely fine line between the two. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. Um, okay, so this is what it should kind of get like, is it should get kind of acting weirdly. Uh, when it pours, it's not going to pour exactly like a liquid, and you should be able to get chunks of it now that are acting like a solid. So I'm going to take some of it. 
<laughs> it's right on the bottom. It's hard to get. Um, maybe I'll add just a little bit more so I can get that into my hand to show you. Um, there we go. So once you get a chunk of it, you can kind of play around with it in your hand, which is really fun. So I'm going to pour it right into my hand here. And some of it will start to hold its own shape. Like you can see here, I've made a ball of it. Okay. Whoops, sorry. You can see I've made a ball of it, but it, it stays like a ball for a couple moments and then it starts to ooze and act like a liquid. It's really fun stuff here. Um, and it's, it's really messy, but it's super fun. So it's, it's worth, it's worth the mess, I feel. Um, so there it is. It's a ball, but then it also can be a liquid. Ooh. So this is called a non-Newtonian fluid because it, it acts a little bit like a fluid, but not like a normal Newtonian fluid does. So, um, have some fun with it. Uh, enjoy making, if you do decide to make it, it is messy, um, but enjoy making some magic mud and learning a bit about solids and liquids. And stay tuned um, for more videos on my YouTube channel and definitely check out the STEM and STEAM teaching and learning journey website. Thank you. Have a great day.